Final round today at Denver City Park Golf Course before a controversial construction project will change that course forever. Today's golfers were the last people to play the course as it is, and they were met by protesters upset that the project requires cutting down hundreds of trees. CBS 4's Sean Chitness is live at City Park tonight. And Sean, the project is moving forward, but some opponents just aren't ready to give up just yet. Tom, yeah, they still have a plan in place, but this evening we saw people taking advantage of one last chance to be on the golf course, even though it officially closed earlier in the week. The fencing still hasn't gone up, and those neighbors in the area say they are still going to do whatever it takes to stop this project. Is the fight over? Yes. Absolutely not. One of the final protests of the project to remove trees and close this golf course was actually a vigil, mourning the decision to move forward and the loss of so many trees. How long does it take to regrow, regrow a 75 year old tree? The answer is pretty obvious. It takes 75 years. Those attending the event this week and trying to save those trees have argued that simply planting new ones won't be enough. They say it will take 100 years to regrow trees that have the same healthy impact on the environment this park already enjoys. Both the governor and the mayor have committed Denver and Colorado to try to reduce greenhouse gases. So while the decision late last month by a judge to let the project keep going was a major setback, they hope leaders will change their minds and redesign the plan to keep more trees. The city of Denver has said the $300 million Platte to Park Hill project will protect homes in nearby neighborhoods by storing flood water. But opponents don't think it will do enough for flooding and hope a federal lawsuit could stop the project. I think I really care a lot about good government, and I've watched this carefully. Now, we don't know when all of those trees are going to come down, but you can see that some of them have already been marked. There are more than 200 that are set to be chopped down. Live in Denver, Sean Chitness, covering Colorado First.